welcome back so in today's video we will talk about index.php and db.php so db.php is basically for the connection to the database and index.php will be uh, i mean the home page so let's say uh, my server is localhost right so i will say localhost slash my project name is you can see uh, library so i will say here l i b r a r y library okay if i refresh uh, sorry enter you can see i'm in a page so this is called index uh, page if i say here let's say i will go to the index.php and if i say here let's say hello um, index if i refresh now you can see showing hello from index so this is the uh, you know default page for the uh, website if somebody actually uh, come through the url uh, at first uh, it will actually redirect to the index.php so let me just keep as it is and i will go for the db.php so db.php is basically for the connection purpose so now actually we want to connect to the database so if you want to write any php script sorry uh, if you want to write any php file you need php script first so let's uh, add php script here like this and inside it we have to write php so first of all actually we want to connect to the database so we need a variable dollar con equal to new mysql i so now actually we can create a new connection but in the mysql i function we need four parameter one for the server one for the username one for the root uh, sorry a password one for the database name so we need server name we need need an username we need a password and we need database name so let me just create all the variables here uh, uh, so that if anything changed that i can actually change here so okay let me just uh, declare some variables for the uh, server i will say server and the server is by default localhost because we are in this pc right we are in our pc so it will be localhost and then a uh, user name okay so username is root by default you can change it but by default it is root and let's say password by default password is null you cannot space uh, i mean you cannot give here space okay and we need database name so i will say here dollar db name so this variable can uh, have any name okay here actually we have to put the database name so our database name is library db l i b r a r y library db so now we want to actually pass all the parameters uh, sorry all the variables as parameters so first of all server so i will say here dollar server comma dollar user comma dollar us comma dollar database name so now actually our connection will be set and it will be uh, stored in the variable so we will check that if the connection is successfully done or not so i will say if not dollar con then actually i want to show the error so i will say echo uh, oops oops so we need one more o so oops uh, i actually want to show the error so the error is i want to print the error so i have to uh, use here curly braces if i want to print inside double quotation if i want to actually print outside this double quotation i have to use here a dot sign to actually print the variable uh, i mean value because we need concatenation so concatenation actually done by this dot so actually i want to use this way so you just have to give two curly braces i mean opening and uh, closing so here actually i want to say dollar con my variable and i want to print the error so i will say the connection error right so actually i will say connect underscore error because i want to uh, show the connection error so i will say connect error okay and that's it so otherwise actually we will do other things so we have actually connect to the database and let's say just I, for now actually i want to uh, set else here i mean if it is not uh, connected then it will actually show this and if it is connected then it will actually show that echo echo that successfully connected now let's go here and actually i want to go to the db.php 
syntax error oh oh so else okay so if i refresh now you can see successfully connected so now actually we are connected to the database now every single page if i want to uh, connect to the database actually i just have to include this let's say i want to access the dashboard so i just need to uh, you know set the connection to the database so that time actually i just have to write here php script and i just have to say here include okay double quotation and inside the double quotation i just have to mention the file name db.php so actually it will um, start the connection here that's it okay so in our next video we will show uh, some other file let's say login register and logout okay these uh, three okay so thanks for watching see you in the next video till then goodbye